What's up everyone, Jeremy Gerard from Mythic Customs here with one of my short customizing tutorial videos. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about a tool that I've recently discovered for Mythic Legions customizing. When I say tool, that's probably not the most accurate description. It's a household appliance type thing. Um, it's a blow dryer. So this may seem super common, but even though I've been customizing as long as I have, I've never used a blow dryer for painting. Now I've used a blow dryer many times in customizing for adding heat to parts to help separate them. If you see my video in the past about using heat to separate parts, I've mentioned before that you can use hot water or you can use hot air. I tend to use hot air when I'm trying to separate something that's a painted part or I'm trying to attach something that's a painted part, but I've never used a blow dryer when it comes to painting. Now hanging out at Four Horsemen Studios, if you're in the studio for any period of time, you will hear the sound of blow dryers repeatedly. I remember when I first heard that, I didn't know what it was. I, I found it unusual. I first thought that maybe they were separating parts and they were using the heat. Come to find out that they're using it to dry paint quicker. It's something that they do all the time. I've never actually done it. I know a lot of other people have done it, but it was something that just I never thought I needed to do. Well, recently I had a bit of a sprint type custom project to do this guy right here. So this is my fun Katamari Cthulhu figure um, that I did recently. And I got this part in, this, this head was sculpted by Tristan Castillo of uh, Immortal Collections printed by Anthony Velez of Noble Bear Customs based on my design. Um, and it will be something that will be at a uh, Legion shop somewhat soon. I got this in from Anthony and I got it in right before, like a day before he was going to be on my Mythic Conversation show. So I really wanted to surprise him and have this all painted up. So speed was of the essence. Because of that, I was at my workbench, I was painting this and I wanted the paint to dry quicker. And I noticed that I had my blow dryer right there. Remembering seeing everyone do it at the studio, I've seen Joe Vassapolo use this many times, as well as Cameron and Sherry, I decided to give it a shot. And for anyone that's ever used a blow dryer to dry custom paint, you're probably like, duh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. But part of the point of this video is not only to tell you that if you're not using a blow dryer, you might want to give it a shot because it's super cool, but also to prove that even someone like myself that has been customizing for years, that has done literally hundreds of Mythic Legions customs, there's still opportunities for you to learn new tricks. You can teach an old dog new tricks. I am proof of that. Um, what I will say that I have found is if you are going to use a blow dryer, the one that I have is got a number of different settings in there. So you can control the heat and you can control the speed. I put it on the lowest air possible. It's important that you don't overdo it because if you have too much air, you might blow the paint around. Now, if you're gonna be using this on some dry brush parts, it's probably not a big deal. There's not a lot of paint to blow around when you dry brush. It also will probably dry. Dry brush paint dries very fast to begin with. If you hit it with a blow dryer, it'll probably dry instantly. But if you're using any kind of paint that's watered down, if you're doing like a wash type stuff, uh, you know, type paint job on a piece, I did a lot of washes on this particular figure here to get the coverage that I did. So there was a lot of, you know, fairly wet liquidy paint. If you go too much with the blow dryer, it's just gonna blow it off. That's not what you want. So I recommend going with the lowest possible setting. I did kind of a, a low to mid heat on it. Not a ton of heat, definitely not a ton of volume. Um, try a few different pieces, figure out what works for you. Obviously different blow dryers are gonna work differently. Um, I mean, they have diffusers and all that stuff as well. You could get totally crazy. I don't need any of that stuff. I don't need any extra attachments. This works really, really fine. I will also say that 
not only does this help dry the paint very, very quickly. So if you are doing a bit of a sprint session like I did and you need that, that paint dry so you can put the next color on, this is very helpful. But I also find that it dried it differently than if I just would have let it dry on its own. Um, especially with that wet paint, areas that I would be afraid certain paint would pull up and maybe be too thick. This dried it fast enough and even enough that it gave it a finish that I was really, really excited for. So that's my tip for today. If you've never tried a blow dryer, um, go buy one or you know raid your bathroom. That's where I got this actually. This was my wife's blow dryer. I took it from her and I used it downstairs in my workshop for so long that she just bought another one for herself. So score. I got myself a blow dryer um, and I think I'm going to be using it a lot more going forward. If you find videos like this helpful, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, certainly you can use the comments. I always try to answer those. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. So when videos like this talking about blow drying action figures go live, you will be notified immediately. Thanks again. I can't wait to see what you make.